Hey guys, today's Tuesday, February the 7th of 2023, and I want to go over uh, net gas. So without any further delay, let's get into it. Uh, before I get to net gas, I want to show you the dollar. You know, remember, I don't know if you've seen my last uh, US uh, dollar DX video. Seasonality was saying that it could be a possible turning point between, between February 2nd, 3rd, somewhere around there in that ballpark, and you got this nice little pop. Uh, had a target of 98, but you know, sometimes uh, things don't pan out the way, you know, you want them to be, but you know, it's still early in the game, you know, maybe seasonality kicked in, but you know, there might be a turning point where it needs to kiss 98 and then turn. So I'm still watching it. Uh, but nonetheless, it was a nice little pop. Let's see if it's going to continue. If it's going to look back, retest the low or have a fail new low and then continue going up so keep monitoring that keep it on your radar you follow the dollar in regards to net gas a couple of things i want to show you here that are important in the chart leading regression channel on the monthly nice area to get in accumulate small position get your toes wet nice little area right there um do you see how we hit it up here at the top on the monthly? And this is a three year, and now we're here. Is it going to hold? We'll see. But a lot of things are happening in February, so we'll see how this is going to play out. Another thing, the MACD just turned positive and, uh, on the weekly. This is the weekly chart right here. And this is an indicator I use, Tom D. Mark, Knife Candle. You see that green line? We hit it here. Uh, you got this nice little little rally and then it flushed back down so next week next week's candle should be a knife uh weekly candle according to his sequence count and it could be a probability that could be a turning point so that's the second thing besides the macd turning positive on the daily chart february the 20th that's when the uh, contract changes and you see the MACD sloping up while price action is going down on the daily. And now we're to the point where it's positive. The last signal was positive, a buy. And the histogram is above zero. So we'll see how uh, this week closes, but it'll be interesting to see how it's going to play out. Another thing I've noticed from this high of $10 and two cents uh look at this it looks like an abc correction a b and we're at c on a daily we already know that we're on a wave five uh so that could be you know potential turning point uh, this month or you know next couple of weeks or maybe this week uh, we, we already know on uh, February the 10th that's when Friday when it turns seasonality turns is it going to turn on that day we don't know but we'll be watching to see if that's going to play out uh, and I think that's it but the most important thing here if there's anything important here is this right here this right here giving us clues volume want to look at yesterday volumes was pretty pretty good uh last week's volume was ugly it was very strong so is that the last of the bears i don't know we gotta see volume uh how we close this week mac d tom d mark's knife candle kicking in linear regression channel nice little area to uh to consider maybe, you know, buying something, in my opinion. Not that it's advice, you know, do your due diligence, but nice little area. And you know that the MACD is not going to get positive here because this is a whole month has to play out. But in regards to area, this is a nice little area to uh, consider. Linear regression channels. Uh, and that's it. Those are my, my thoughts. Uh, keep an eye on a dollar over here and uh, I'll do some other videos and other things someone asked me about palladium 
I need to look into that, but I just want to give you a quick update uh, that keep it on your radar. There's this something's cooking here. It's interesting. I want to see how this is all going to play out, but it's going to be very interesting this this week, especially with the seasonalities kicking in and see what's going to happen. Hopefully you have a good trading today and uh, I'll keep you posted on my thoughts on natural gas.